Hi everyone. Today I'm going to share a little bit about creating an uh, active link in the content editor. Most of you have seen this. You might come in here and you might be participating in a threaded discussion or might want to um, provide some information to uh, your students. Your students might be wanting to um, provide a link so you can look at. And so we're going to talk a little bit about that. First of all, I want you to see over here the show less and show more. Sometimes when we've gone into the content editor, um, it has the show less and you, you just get a very limited toolbar menu. If you click on this chevron as we call it, it drops down and it shows more. So you have a more uh, of a variety of tools here. So I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to type in an, a URL address. It's just going to be a very simple one, Google. Uh, most of the time I would suggest that you go up and copy and then paste the URL address because it's very, very difficult to always have the exact address. And if you don't have the exact address, it's not going to go to the web page that you want. So once I've typed that in, I can click on Enter and it looks like an active link. It isn't necessarily not an active link, but it won't open up in a new window, which we do like. We like to be in the Blackboard Classroom, clicking on a link, opening up in a new window, and then that way we can still have our Blackboard Classroom open. To make that happen, you're going to come over here and you're going to just select the link, and then notice this actually highlights. It lights up and then you're ready to insert a link. It wasn't lit up before you highlighted that link. So I'm just going to pull this over a little bit. This is the dialog box that opens up. And notice that the link path has the URL address there. One thing you're going to want to make sure is target. So you're going to go over here to open a new window and that way the URL once you click on it will open up in a new window. I want to show you something else really quickly. If I didn't want to have the link URL address as my link, I wanted a word to be a link, I could come over here and I could type in this is the Google site, period, and then I can come over here to this text and I can highlight this and then notice this chain comes up alive again and active and I can click on it. The same dialog box is going to appear and I, again, I should be able to copy and paste this from a website. In this case, I don't have that copied and pasted already, and I'm just going to type it in. And then again, I can click on the target drop-down menu and select Open a New Window. And then I can Insert. Make sure I click on Insert. Now, this Google Word that I've highlighted is now a link. Okay, so once I'm done with that, I'm going to come down here and submit it and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down to where I just put that item. And so now if I clicked on this link, it's going to open up a new window. There it is, my Google. My classroom is still open. And then if I clicked on this link, remember this is also has the Google address. So watch. I can click on it and it will open up a new window as well. The beauty of this is that my Blackboard classroom is still open and yet these links have opened up a new window. Here's my Google and here's my Google. I hope that helps. Thank you.